Hi, my name is Becky Cole and this is Bernie Fitzsimmons on guitar and we're going to play a new song today called Just Like Before. I can feel my heart racing inside I can feel my nerves stinging with pride Start to pray that I'll find peace of mind on my way. And as I slip under him, I hear a voice come back from ten. And I feel an echo begin deep within as he says. In a row, one by one they start to glow. How I do them on this journey through my soul. Oh, and as I follow down this road, feel the sense that I'm oh, oh, oh. Cause it feels just like before. It feels just like before. It feels just like before It feels just like before mm. I can see the faces that I've known Of the loves I lost long, long ago Travel through this vessel of mine I am like Twelve doors stood in a row And one by one they start to grow And I walk through them on this journey through my soul I thought of them when I came home Of all the places I was shown Cause it felt just like before It felt just like before Oh yeah it feels just like before It feels just like before oh, na, 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 na. Do you feel your heart racing inside? Do you feel your nerves stinging with pride? Do you feel the echo begin? Do you see the faces that you've known Of the loves you lost long, long ago you no longer live there anymore But it felt just like before I was really sad to move out of Edinburgh initially um, but I love Manchester so much um, It's a proper like arts based like musical city It kind of reminds me of Glasgow um, like very creative people um so yeah definitely um it's an inspiring place to like keep up the writing and it's so easy to meet people as well like there's open mics all the time always people gigging so many great venues as well um all kinds of acts um so yeah the people you meet like everybody's sort of got their own own thing going on um which i, I really love I'm actually surprised at that. Um, it's hard to say. I mean, um, I grew up in Haddington and playing in bands and stuff. And there was loads of people all playing in bands at the same time. Um, and then moved into Edinburgh. And again, like so much talent in Edinburgh. Um, but East Lothian, I'm not sure. I mean, I've sort of betrayed my roots because I don't live there. <laughs> So I don't I don't know who's still playing in East Lothian, but um, that's crazy that I'm the first person I would have thought in Dalkeith you'd be getting lots more. Um, this next song is called Win or Lose. It was written by Bernie, um, and we used to play it all the time when he first wrote it. So 
brings back the nostalgic feels. Badu, D'Angelo, um, that sort of 90s era. Um, another obvious one, that always says this, but the first Amy Winehouse album, I love that album, um, it never gets old. I know like most of her more famous tunes are on the Back to Black album, um, but the first one, um, it really blends, like it's a really solid blend of like hip hop, but then like modern jazz. Um, so I think that sort of fits in the neo soul descriptor as well. Um, yeah, that's probably like my go-to listening. Lauren Hill, kind of another one, um, very soulful. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Um, because I, well, I'm sort of in this state again where I'm like. I'm writing all the time, but I never have the sort of commitment to actually release a song <laughs> because I think it's partially because of like, you know, the whole like creative thing of like committing to an idea um, and then that's it, you can't change it. Um, and also the worry that like I could put this out and it's rubbish and then like that's obviously embarrassing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I put out my first song and everybody was just so supportive of it. Um, people really seem to like it, I guess. Um, and yeah, it was it was really nice because I am a fan of the song myself, which is rare that I'm actually like, that I enjoy my own work. Um, but yeah, I, I really liked it. So I'm glad that other people did as well, I guess. Um, this next song is called Only Us. Um, this is a song that we both wrote together um, many years ago. Um, and it's really nice to play it again. I love this song. <laughs> Every 
just get recording and um, get more stuff out there I don't like that I've left such a big gap between the initial debut single I was like on such a high from it like oh I'm just gonna start firing out tunes now um but I'm just focusing on the ones that I've written that I know are strong and I really like um just getting them produced um and yeah I guess honing my sound um and then yeah hopefully couple more singles this year um, and maybe maybe some more live gigs hopefully things seem to be looking looking good for live music so yeah
the White Stripes are class, class band. Um, like I said, my friend Rona got me into White Stripes way back in the day. Um, but yeah, me and Bernie used to cover that song a lot um, when we used to play in like the Fringe Festival and stuff. Um, it's just a great tune. And I think like, um, especially having studied popular music, like my music taste, I would say, has not of mm, evolved, maybe is the wrong word, because I still love all the music that I used to listen to. Um, so like through uni and stuff, I really got into like my jazz and like old school, like soul and stuff. Um, but I really still love like the sort of alternative rock um, bangers, like White Stripes and stuff like that. Um, and I think that's such a versatile song as well, Seven Nation Army. Everybody loves that song. Um, so yeah, I love covering it. <laughs> this last song we're going to do is a cover um, of a classic tune, uh, Seven Nation Army. And I'd like to dedicate this song to Rona Taylor, um, who is not here today. But um, she was the one that got me into White Stripes, so this one goes out to, to Rona. Sweat dream. 